Let's move on to another story, the latest of a series of blows to the government of Bashar al-Assad. On Tuesday, the Syrian army left its last major base in uh, Mastuma, which is in Idlib province, abandoning it to an Islamist-led rebel force. The estimated 400 men withdrew with most of their equipment to nearby Ariha, which is a town of about 70,000 people. I asked Kyle Orton, who's a blogger and Middle East analyst with the Eastern Project, that uh, I'll ask them why the latest takeover by a coalition of forces led by Jabhat al-Nusra was significant. It comes after a good few months of gains by the insurgency in northern Syria. They first moved through Idlib city, which was a long planned operation. It's showing that the insurgency in the north has increased weapons as well from the Gulf and increased organizational capacity. And they've been able to go through from Mastuma, they then took Jisar al Shagur, and then they've moved south, and now they've taken Mastuma. So you can see them moving gradually to clear the whole Idlib province of the regime. Uh, next, presumably, is Ariha. Is this the beginning of the end for the Assad regime? No, that's a long, long way off. I'm not sure that Nusra could do it on its own. And more to the point, I mean, the population doesn't want Nusra anyway. What they want, the Islamic governance, is not what most Syrians want. But I would suggest it's really difficult to see the regime being removed militarily at all. Uh, The regime will contract back into some zones in the Western Corridor around Homs and Damascus, but it it won't likely be forced out of the capital. So... What is the state of the regime now? The regular armed forces, they effectively don't exist anymore. It's Iran that's running things. But there is the militia, the National Defense Forces, which is run by Iran and is staffed by Syrians. And fighting alongside them and directing them is the Revolutionary Guard Corps and Hezbollah and also the Iraqi and Afghan and other foreign Shiite jihadists. How about the capital, Damascus? What's happening there? Not an awful lot. There is, there's a pocket of opposition in eastern Damascus, but it's besieged and it can't really expand. I mean, sometimes it raids in as far as like Jobar, but it doesn't get any further towards the capital city itself. So what's the next target for this militant group that's taken over the military base at Mastuma? I would say the next move is Ariha. It's the last major town held by the regime in Idlib province. And then what next? A lot will depend on whether the regime succeeds in trying to take back Jisar al-Shugur, the sort of gateway into Latakia, which is the, the Alawi coast, which is the regime's stronghold. And if it takes back Jisar al-Shugur, that's obviously going to mean insurgent resources have to be diverted to try and take that back or defend a line in northwest Idlib rather than expanding into Hama. But that would be the next one, the Al-Gab plain in Hama would be the target if the insurgency manages to keep Jisrashugu, take Idlib and keep going south in Idlib province. But the regime itself, I mean, is not going to be threatened in Hama city, nor will it be threatened in Homs, probably not in Homs province, but certainly not in Homs city. And Damascus, as I say, is locked down. So there may be gains for the rebels in the south, in Dera, but that would be the extent of it. That's Kyle Orton, a blogger and Middle East analyst with the Eastern Project.